And the Merva it's in the five. Goes to John O'Ross. Eight's always legal. Sell doing well to keep the ball in field there. You could see what London Irish were trying to do. There it is for Fuff to Clare. On here to his Springbok mate, Lud de Yaga. There's the clerk, Doherty, the prayer, and Hammersley celebrates his century of performances in the Gallagher Premiership by scoring the first try. Doherty did well, Hammersley with a direct hard running line. Like a fundamental goes short to Josh. Yes. Here's Aka van der Merwe. Look at that, he's got his eyes up. He Broken knows exactly away, where away. the touchline is. Trying to fight his way through. So, can Sale make it count this time? Oh, it's Bevan Rod twisting and turning. Half a metre to go. Desperate defence. Ludi Yaga's got there this time. We thought he got one a little bit earlier, but he's not denied this time. That rather more straightforward. The catch from De Yaga. Well, Cameron Neal was caught around the uh, collar. The arm is out again. That's definitely a penalty. The Priya. Bit on there from John O'Ross to Kuni Ustazen. Little chip over the top there from Fafta Clark. McGuigan's after him, this time he has got it. In the middle of at least three London Irishmen. Well, that's the sort of hunger and persistence. The best show. Brophy Clues finding himself playing at 12 now. There he is again with the ball in his hand. Me and Jackson. Oh, it's picked up by Reed, and Reed is away, and he can sprint, and he's got away from Loda, and Reed gets the try. And you'd have to say it's against the run of play in the opening eight minutes of this second half. It ricocheted off the midriff of Ollie Hassel Collins, landed in the grasp of Aaron Reed. Sale have got themselves out of a slightly tight spot. A man down for the first time in the game. London Irish were enjoying a period of domination. Rob Simmons, they're within a couple of metres of halfway, a London Irish. Oh, and in pops McGuigan. Well, we've got another number to add to the statistics, and it's in the tries column. That's number two for Byron McGuigan. Well, when Gregor Townsend reads his paper tomorrow morning, and you'll see that Byron McGuigan has picked up a couple of tries and come very close to a third. Well, he's got plenty of stocks in the uh, wing department at the moment. There's Hoskins again. A fair play delivers you a prize. He should get a try before the end. Parton. Phipps, Cowan, oh, that was clever, Donald! Oh, what a lovely little skill that was from Blair Cowan. A tackling machine a week ago, and it's the soft touches this time around. Let's just enjoy this little bit of skill there. There goes Tom Parton, the pass from Phipps. There's Blair Cowan, out of the back of the hand. Despite the fact they're outnumbered, 15 to 13. They still see an opportunity to sell. Will Cliff on there to McGinty. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Terrific hands, and Byron McGuigan has got a third. Here, take note of the quality of the final pass. Cliff on there. And it is Sam James who has such a glorious touch. And AJ McGinty. Polishes his kicking stats that little bit more, and it completes an emphatic victory 
for sale. Well, well done, history would appear to weigh heavily on the shoulders of the exiles, who as a consequence of the last couple of hours will move into a second decade now without a league win in the suburbs of Manchester. Sale victorious over London Irish again. Final score, Sale 41, London Irish 13.